when you substitute numbers into an equation, it must be in what is called a standard unit. The chart you see here is on your reference table and contains the standard units we will be using in this class. Unlike regions physics, from time to time you will be given numbers that must be converted to standard units. For instance, the distance you see here is in kilometers and must be converted into meters before we substitute it into an equation. The technique we will use to convert a number to standard units is called the factor label method. This method involves creating a ratio that will eliminate the variable we don't want and replace it with the variable that we do want. We put the variable we want in the numerator and the variable we want to eliminate in the denominator. All conversion factors must equal the number 1. Since the reference table tells us that 1 kilometer is 1,000 meters, a conversion factor becomes 1,000 meters divided by 1 kilometer. When we multiply our number by the conversion factor, the unit we don't want cancels out and the unit we want stays. We find that 2 kilometers equals 2,000 meters. Example 2. The standard unit of mass is kilograms, so we will need to create a conversion factor to convert this into the proper units. So we make a ratio with the unit we want in the numerator and the unit we don't want in the denominator. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams, because kilo means 1,000. Our conversion factor has kilograms in the numerator and grams in the denominator. Since the original mass has three significant figures, so should our answer. Example 3. Sometimes unit conversions require two conversion factors. In this example, I will convert two hours into the standard unit of seconds. The first conversion factor changes hours into minutes, and the second changes minutes to seconds. The variable we don't want is in the denominator of both conversion factors. Since the original time has three significant figures, or digits, the answer should also have three significant digits. The answer is 7200, so the only way to give the number three significant digits is to put it in scientific notation. Before we put a number into an equation, it must be in the standard units that are found on your reference table. If we are given a number that does not have a standard unit, we can change the unit by using a conversion factor. A conversion factor is a ratio with the unit we want in the numerator and the unit we don't want in the denominator. This is the end of my presentation on using the factor label method to convert a number into a standard unit.